It was at this juncture that Manfred awoke from his deep Teutonic sleep. What is happening? I detect an atmosphere of alarm, said Manfred, suspicious as always. Me was merely going to ask you what you reckon of this here newcomer. Until this very moment, Lady Agnes and Manfred had singularly failed to notice the strange interloper. They did so now with a horrified shriek. What in heaven's name is it, Ogie? Are we being invaded, do you think? Hoagie was prone to deep contemplation at times like these, and since he couldn't move at all, had found staying still most conducive to philosophising. Well, your ladyship, on reflection, me wonder if it might be some new last toy. The owner has seen fit to display here. This was very perceptive of Hoagie, though he couldn't say why. I new toy. What do you think it is? As luck would have it, just at that moment a fortuitous breeze blew in at the door and the cloth was lifted off the newcomer, much like the wind at sea might lift a veil from a lady's face. It was an elephant, and his name was Enver. But Enver's story would have to wait as it was time to watch the great VT machine. <coughs> Hoagie liked the great VT machine. Every day it would tell him a story. What story would it tell today? What story would you like to hear today? That's right. It was The Tale of the Blue Duck. Once upon a time, there was a blue duck. Was so picked on by the other ducks of ordinary colours. He was a blue one, and different, you see. Ducks were like racists, intolerant of others. The attitude of those ducks was stinking. I mean, who had to live in a pond like that? It was a hellhole. They took that duck and threw him in the bushes. He didn't know he could fly or was frightened to. Turned out it was magic bushes, and that didn't turn out too badly for the duck. In the bush, he met a little man with a majorly beard and glasses on his nose like a goblin or something like, if not. I will grant those wishes you have in your heart, said the old basket with the cranky manners. But I'm only a duck and a blue one too, said the blue duck, for he wasn't as stupid as he was blue. In a flash from a cockatrice and a spit, he was turned into a normal duck, just like those other ones he hated with all his heart. He went out to meet them, and they didn't bully him anymore, and he was normal. Some coarse hunters came and shot him, and took him in a dog's mouth, back to their women folk and babies. They cooked that poor duck and ate him and feasted on the bones and made stock for a week of lunch times. It wasn't such a good time for that duck all in all. If he'd been blue, it might have been different, but then you don't know. Hoagie was disappointed. Why did exciting things happen to other people? Then Hoagie remembered the new toy, and happiness was restored. 
Ember looked shyly at the new world he found himself in. Where am I? he asked himself. The other toys crept out from their hiding places. They looked the young elephant all over. And when they were satisfied that he neither smelled nor was a sort of threadbare gypsy that the government had warned them against, they took him to their hearts with untrammeled warmth. How do you do? said Lady Agnes. Guten Morgen, said Manfred. Wow, hello there, said Hoagie. A good day to you too said Enver in reply. And they asked him his name, his favourite colour, his cultural origins, his political leanings, and his marital status. And when they had all the information they wanted, they nuzzled him softly with their fabric parts. Enver felt welcome at last. I feel like I belong, he said to himself. Now let me tell you my story. But it was too late. The landlord was at the door. Mr Kafka. I'm Mr Kafka. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I am the villain of the piece. Yes, I am the landlord. Yes, I am greedy. I do like money. Who doesn't? I want more money. So what? I want as much money as I can get. It's true. Everyone wants money, don't they? Don't you? I hate this shop. I hate those toys. I want their money, and I want them to suffer. I'm going into the shop. You can come with me if you like. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> the old shopkeeper couldn't pay his rent. The toys all sold. Mr Kafka burned down the shop. It's very sad. It's very sad. Isn't it, children? <laughs>